Hey, it's Tim here. A large part of the Tableau Pulse experience is the mobile experience alongside the Tableau Pulse digests. In this video, I'm going to cover both of those all in one video. We're going to walk through everything. As you can see here on screen, I've got my phone, I've got Tableau Pulse, and I have Slack. I've even got my emails open so I can show you what all of those look like when they're engaging with Tableau Pulse. As ever, let's get started. <clears throat> so there's actually a lot to sort of go through here. Um, I couldn't really think of an organized way of doing it, so I just put everything on screen and I was hoping that by the time I hit record, I'd have a logical way to start this video. But I think there is a logical place. First of all, where are these settings engaged? So when you go to Tableau Pulse, um, they've been some improvements. I've got another video after this one which goes through some of the new updates of Tableau Pulse for this month. Uh, by this month, I mean March, not April, because um, I'm recording this in April. But nonetheless, there's some new yeah. updates with the interface that improve a few things that I think have been bugbears. There's still a few big things to take off the list. But um, in my previous videos, what I haven't covered is where exactly to set your Tableau Pulse Digest. And so if you head to the top right hand side here, click on the little icon on the top right hand side, select preferences, you'll see that you get these two options for Slack and email. Now when you enable these that switches those on but then there's a second setting here that gives you the frequency for those and I think by default this is set to monthly. I set it to daily just so I could have something to show for this video over the last few weeks. Um, it does give you the specific time that these are sent so they are generated and sent at a specific time. Uh, this is not editable. Um, this maybe speaks to the fact that Tableau Pulse is being built separately from Tableau Cloud um, in Tableau Cloud, the setting that would control this would be something like your subscription settings, but that's not the case here. This is being centrally managed by Tableau, okay? So once you hit save, once you set those options, two things are going to happen. If you have Tableau connected to your Slack environment, your Pulse Digest will find its way to the Tableau app inside of Slack. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And then secondly, you'll get an email as well. Now, I do know there's a lot of talk about Microsoft Teams and Teams is always the sort of forgotten soul here, but we have to remember that Slack is the Salesforce product here. So of course, it's going to get the sort of first party experience uh, inside of this particular application. But I'm assuming, uh, you know, I'm assuming that Teams will find its way onto this specific list, but I don't think it will be a native connection. I think it will be something like uh, an API that allows you to push to Tableau. Um, sorry, an API that allows you to push to uh, Teams and you can go from there. Anyway, once you hit save, those settings are saved and then you start to get those digests. What do they look like? Well, if I switch over to Slack, I can bring it up on screen. So what I've done here is I've just searched my specific, uh, let's call it the uh, TN Media uh, Slack app. I have a few people in here, so I'm just going to keep it constrained to this search so nothing else comes up on screen while I'm in here. But nonetheless, this is an example of one I received today. It came this morning, and you can see the three key metrics that I'm seeing. Now, I had thought we'd get a uh, sort of an, a visual experience in here. I thought we'd get the pulse digest images that we'd normally see elsewhere uh, in here. But for some reason, the images aren't loading. I don't know if that's just sort of part of this specific uh, you know, tool, but it's pretty easy to go ahead and set up the Tableau app inside of Slack. It's a pretty straightforward connection. It uses the connected apps interface uh, and you're just then able to set it up. There's, you know, anyone could really do this. It's nothing sort of complex. You do need your Salesforce uh, Slack admin and your Tableau Cloud admin to sort of be working together to do this. If they're the same person, great. That's that's sort of what happens for me here. I can just set up both in one go. But nonetheless, um, this is it. So this is what you get. All the key metrics that are changing that it thinks you need to know about land in your inbox. Now, the other thing to bear in mind is that these three that I'm getting at the moment are just the three that I've got here. So there's nothing sort of complex. What I'm curious to know if you've had many more metrics set up. I, I did previously have something like 40 metrics set up, then I had to clear them all um, in the previous instance of Tableau Pulse. But nonetheless, um, if you do set up more, let's say, than 10, I'd be curious to know how it prioritized them. I don't know if it's just in order of the date that you followed them or if there's any sort of peculiar ranking in terms of uh, importance that's coming from behind the scenes that might be going on. The, if you know the answer to that, let me know in the comments. But there's, there's not much to see here. What I will say is that, look, when you click on any one of these metrics, it does sort of uh, drill into the specific thing. So sorry, what I did is that I clicked onto the message. Now I get it here on the right hand side. So if I actually hover over this, it's just a link deep into the Tableau Cloud or Tableau Pulse experience. If I go ahead and click on that, it opens it. And because I'm already logged in, I go straight to the application deep into sort of the analysis that's going on. We're in a new month, so this has been reset uh, because of the month to date setting that we've just got up here. 
But nonetheless, that's a pretty sort of standard expectation. So if we go back from Slack, all these links, anything in blue, send you to um, the thing you need to follow. At the very bottom, there is another option to see the metrics that you follow. This just dumps you straight into Tableau Pulse. There's nothing sort of complex there. And the Manage Digest just dumps you straight into the show preferences. So you could do something really clever with this, of course, if you know what these URLs are. You can just go ahead and grab them and send these in an email to your uh, colleagues to set up Tableau Pulse in the correct way. So um, these are really nice links to sort of bear in mind. You can kind of grab this. It's nothing original. You could already get these from sort of up here. If you click on preferences and you go to this um, page, uh, you can see it's actually <laughs> it's actually not that easy, actually, because um, these this, this doesn't sort of generate a URL if you look up here in the URL tab. It's actually not there. So um, just knowing that specific uh, capability there from uh, the Slack setup, giving you those URLs is a really nice way to sort of build something more useful for your end users. Okay, that's the Slack experience. Let's hop over to the mobile experience. So let me just make sure my mobile experience is running. So um, if we go over to the mobile experience, this is the Tableau mobile app. If I just go to the homepage, you can see, let me actually close some of these other windows just to make it a little bit easier to see. Let's do this and then we can bring this back in here. Okay, so this is the this is the Tableau mobile experience. You can see I've got right in the middle of the screen and it's just the standard thing. Now, the one observation I had with the Tableau mobile experience is it doesn't feel like Tableau Pulse is a first party citizen because by default you load on the home page. You can see that just here on the bottom of my screen. And the side effect of that is that um, you don't really have anything to do with Tableau Pulse. You have to go to this uh, tab here on the right hand side. And when you load that, you get pretty much what you're seeing on the web experience. So it's almost identical. In fact, if I actually go to the Tableau Pulse landing page, and then we bring that mobile page back up, you can see that, look, it's basically the same thing. The exact same figures all being generated from the same source. Now, the mobile experience is as interactive as you'd expect. When you click on a metric, you can, of course, go in. It loads it up. Um, it's a little bit slow. I don't know why that is. Um, I would think that these are pre-generated in the background. So why they need to load, I'm not sure. But uh, nonetheless, everything is here. Now, the nice thing with this mobile experience is that it's optimized for mobile. So you can go ahead, select show filters, and you'll see the filters that it's actually using. Um, you can't adjust these filters here. You'd have to go and do that inside of the Tableau Pulse experience. Um, you can see that I'm just clicking on these and they're just popping up with pop-ups. There's nothing I can do to change them. Um, so you can only show the filters that have been used. You can't change them. That said, you can interact with the rest of experience as normal. So if you want to go between the tabs, for example, the breakdown and the overview, you absolutely can. And um, you can obviously sort of tap on the charts and they, they're just as interactive as normal, but touch versus hovering are two slightly different experiences across desktop and apps. So really what I'd say is, look, Tableau Pulse on the mobile experience is just a mobile optimized version of Tableau Pulse um, in Tableau Cloud. So if I go to, let's say this metric particular here, and we go have a look at that, um, you'll see that it's more or less the exact same experience. Nothing nothing new there. The filters have only got one month to date. And again, if you go down, you can see the breakdowns are happening as expected. Um, this is actually a good one to show you what the ask uh, the ask data experience that's not the feature the ask experience is like inside of tableau pulse so of course i can actually go ahead and type this and it's got the same capability as uh, we would expect on tableau pulse in my next video i'll cover what this feature is because it's a new edition in march so just go ahead and check out that video immediately after this one to sort of see that feature play out but you can of course uh, select each of these sort of uh, let's say semantic uh, questions that have been pre-generated. And as you click on them, you can see them just appearing below here. So you can see if I tap, you know, which segment had high profit, that's the section that comes up and everything you've clicked on before just appears here on the bottom. So more or less the exact same experiences we're seeing over on uh, the, let's say the, um, uh, the desktop experience. I want to say desktop, but really we're talking about the browser experience. So in fact, if I was to close this side menu here and uh, let's just let's just try and do this. Let's just shrink this right down and close that. And then we put this over here. You can see that the Tableau uh, Pulse mobile experience, if I, if I actually go into it, I'm clicking on it on my screen thinking it's right there, but of course it's not. It's in my phone. If I go into it and I put it side by side, let's do it this way. You can see that it's basically the same experience. Now, this is set up slightly differently. It's obviously got the three different things, but um, if we go here and you can see, okay, let's line them up almost as much as, ident as much as we identically can, it's more or less the same experience. What I will do over here is I'll just make this larger so that it 
fills roughly the same proportions. There we go. So here I am getting an exact match of the two, just so you can see that they are really the same thing. There you go. So I've, I've tried to do my best to match everything up. Um, if I just maybe set this up, let's just keep going until we get March. There we go. So there we go. That's an exact, that is an exact match to just show you that really all that's happening is that the Tableau mobile app is just taking the browser experience and putting it inside of the mobile app, which is good on one side, but also it shows you that really Tableau Pass is not really fully integrated inside of the mobile app. Um, what I would expect is a little bit more of this to sort of start working. So um, as we sort of, if I sort of log in and scroll down here, um, you can see that look, it's it's almost identical. Where Whichever part you go to, it's exactly the same. Um, I'm not sure if that's unrealistic of me to expect more, but hey, you know, I, I think there's more you could do to integrate these two. So anyway, where I think this is broken is, of course, it's really a second citizen inside of the Tableau mobile app. I can't favorite these and have them appear on my homepage. Um, you can clear, clearly see here that Tableau Cloud favorites are separate from the Tableau Pass favorites and, and so on and so forth. So we're still a way away from what I think is a blended experience inside of Tableau Cloud. I think that's coming in the future. Maybe that sort of integration task is slightly bigger. Maybe that's something for next year. But nonetheless, I would love to see all of these being sort of integrated into one experience, potentially even letting us use Tableau Pass metrics inside of dashboards, uh, you know, semantically pulling from what's inside of the dashboard to create the metrics. That is actually a feature that's supposed to be available soon. So uh, be sure to check out that when it drops. Now, the last thing I want to show you today is the email experience. If I look past my mic and my other uh, item here, <laughs> we can see I've done a Google search inside of Tableau Pass. I did this because I wanted to sort of refine the scope of my Tableau Pass digest a little bit. And if we go ahead and click on this particular one here, you'll see that I've actually got one that I, I, I generated a while back. Now, the metrics that I've got here were in a previous instance of Tableau Pulse, so I don't actually have these. So I won't click on any of these to show you what that's like. But just to give you a sense of if you've got a lot of them, this is how they come pre-organized. I didn't really see any sort of logic to how these are organized other than the order in which I followed them. But if there is some sort of other smart sort of sorting mechanisms that sorting these by priority in the future, I'll be sure to let you know. Um, the other thing to bear in mind is if I go to one that is sort of set up to work, i.e. it's actually live today, I got this Tableau Pulse Digest seven hours ago, so it was generated at that time that Tableau was talking about. Um, any one of these, if I go ahead and click Show Details, it throws me straight into the Tableau Cloud experience. Because I'm already logged in, I should just go straight to the Pulse metric. Oh, no, I'm not logged in. That's really frustrating. Let me go ahead and log in. Go on. Let's let's just make sure this works properly. Let me just go ahead and sign in. I'm on a different profile um, in this particular demo window compared to the other one. But you can see here, it does actually send you directly to the experience, and that's what you'd expect. So um, that's really nice to see that happening. And yeah, it's good to know it's working. So not really, you know, groundbreaking stuff here. It's really good that they've thought about this across, you know, all the different um, interfaces. But what I'll say is that this is not the integrated experience. This feels to me like just taking what they've done with emails, taking what they've done with Pulse and putting them in browser windows in different places, whether it's Slack as images and text, or whether it's the mobile app as just the browser window with a mobile optimized version. And that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you. Very scattershot video, I know, but I couldn't think of a nice sort of cohesive way to tie all these up. And it wasn't really a, you know, worth a full demo. I just wanted to show you this um, to make sure you're not missing out. So that's pretty much it for the Pulse Digest capabilities and also the uh, experience inside of Slack and the Tableau mobile app. Be sure to check out the next video after this one where I'll actually cover what's changed in March um, in terms of updates, they have updated a few things. One little bugbear that I'll call out right now that they've updated just to give you a sneak peek is they've given you an escape hatch over to Tableau Cloud. That's just so useful. And another escape hatch to show you all your followed metrics in one place, wherever you are across the whole application. So that is good to know. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.